Isaiah chapter th uh, 6. We're going to make uh, short remarks about this text because this service tonight is prayer. We need to hear the voice of the Lord. Isaiah, Isaiah 6. Chapter 1. Which tells us in the year that King Isaiah died, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne, high and lifted up, and the train of his robe filled the temple. Now, verse 6 Then one of the seraphims flew to me, having in his hand a live coal, which he had taken with the tongues from the altar. And he touched my mouth with it and said, Behold, this has touched your lips. Your iniquity is taken away and your sin purified. And verse 8, Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? Then I said, Here am I, send me. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I want to praise the Lord for your consolation, for a blessing during the service tonight, because we have already had a meeting with you tonight. Now in your word, increase a blessing to our hearts, because we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Church may be seated. In the year in, ch in which the King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on a high stone, and his garment filled the temple. The prophet Isaiah. The prophet that was known as a messianic prophet. Like the one that prophesies the most regarding the Lord Jesus, the Messiah. Prophet that we can even say was um, um, uh, a man that was used by the hand of the Lord because he prophesied the, the coming of the Lord Jesus, but more than any other prophet, he is now, he was discouraged. He went to the temple, he went to the house of the Lord, for sure, sad upset because his family member King Uzziah had died for sure he would he was there pouring out his tears in the presence of the Lord we don't know exactly but we can um, imagine that maybe he wanted to give up about everything because uh, because outside from his own uh, family struggles, the people was already corrupted. Outside of the temple, there was a people that had impure lips. And worst of all, is that the prophet tells this to the Lord. I also inhabit this people, and my lips are also impure. The situation was not very good for him. But he decided to go to the house of the Lord. And from chapter 6 onwards, the history of Isaiah changed. He begins to experience the power of the Lord. He begins to prophesy in the name of the Lord. From chapter 6, before chapter 6, the, those were only prophets of uh, destruction and difficulty. But from chapter 6 forward, he begins to prophesy a blessing to the people, saying that the Lord Jesus was coming, the Messiah was going to rescue Israel. And 
what are we trying to say here tonight? In the life of Isaiah, in order for him to change his position, it was necessary that Uzziah died. In the day, in the year in which King Uzziah died, I went up to the temple and I poured my tears in the presence of the Lord. And there are some Uzziah, my brethren, in our lives that need to die in order for us to see the glory of the Lord, in order for us to experience the power of the Lord, in order for you to be used in what the Lord has called you for with power. There are some Uzziahs that have to die every day. This was the experience of the prophet. It says that when the the life coal that was removed from the altar, the Lord touched his lips. The same life coal that was removed from the altar, which is the Holy Spirit, and is here tonight. And the Holy Spirit is touching on the wound, is touching on this difficulty that many times prevent you from progressing to step forward. The Lord has shown in the gift that we read there was the servant that had many tools. He's old in the kingdom of the Lord. Has already been a blessing in the hands of the Lord. But now he's rusted. And we can praise the name of the Lord tonight. Because the Uzziahs are falling down. The difficulties that were preventing us from having a, m a more intimate presence, experience with the Lord, the Lord is now re removing by the power of His Word. And after uh, Isaiah poured his tears in the presence of the Lord, after he lamented to the Lord in, s in that wonderful meeting that he had with the Lord, he said, I saw the Lord sitting on the high and sublime throne. And up to that point, he had not seen the glory of the Lord. But his, his uh, commitment with the Lord was so great, his sincerity of his heart was so great, that the Lord opened up the heavens to him. And the Lord tonight wants to do this to you. He wants to open up heavens for us. If you open up your heart, if you put everything in the presence of the Lord, all the tools, you can be sure of one thing. The Lord will open up heavens for you. The glory of the Lord will be revealed here tonight. I've chosen this text because Isaiah had a call. a call to be a prophet. And you are also have a call. You are chosen of the Lord. The promise that one day the Lord has made to each one of us here, because each one of us here has a promise from the Lord. They will be fulfilled. They will be fulfilled. But the service tonight is in order for us to leave everything in the altar is so we understand that I will give everything to the Lord I will give everything to the Lord everything I will hand to you I hand to you my function of uh, usher my position of a uh, deacon I hand to you my life as an instrument player or, or you as a sheep in the house of the Lord, so that the Lord may use you more and more, so that the power of the Lord may, may be manifested in our lives. We're going to sing this song in prayer. Leave everything in the altar of the Lord. The Isaiahs are being left behind.
instruments still softly playing. Peace of the Lord is reigning this place. And I send you renewal. The Lord is sending the consolation for our lives. He strengthened our feet so we can walk in His presence. Glory to God. The life of the prophet was marked as in the year, the year in which the King Uzziah died. The Lord is registering in eternity tonight. A change of a position. Giving yourself more. The spiritual gift of the Lord one day gave you. And that you have not been used for a very long time. Now the Lord is renewing you. The baptism with the Holy Spirit. Glory to Jesus. The Lord also sh has shown that we have been invited to enter tonight into something like a laboratory. And there, there were many eyes that were manipulated. Oh, oils. Each oil has had a specific function. The brother said that one oil it was being prepared in that place it was it was created to cure physical infirmities there was another oil was used to cure emotional infirmities there was another oil this oil its purpose was to renew our spiritual lives so at the end of the service each one of us would leave this place renewed each one of us would leave this place filled with the oil, filled with the Spirit of the Lord. Let us sing a song of a jo or joy so we can glorify the name of the Lord. God will provide everything to His people. Now the men. Now the women. Now 
exalt in the name of the Lord. Only the women. Now the men. The women. Everyone, stand in my bread. Be the name of the Lord. Glory to Jesus. Your Father is His name. God provider. Blessed be Your name, Lord. My servant may now glorify the name of the Lord. Lord, we glorify Your name for Your care, Lord, for this oil, Lord, that fills our soul. That represent the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Lord. The Trinity present amongst us, Lord. Bring the sources from eternity, Lord. To give us strength in this walk, Lord. Lord, we don't have word to thank you, Lord. For your great love towards our lives. Blessed, exalted, be your name. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Children, may, may peace be with you. This banquet has been prepared for me in eternity. You are blessing my name. Rejoice, knowing that only the Lord is God. There is no other God beside me. Rejoice, my children. Because tonight, wounds have been closed. The oil of my spirit, my palm is being applied. It was removed from you all my all the pain, all the sadness, all the anguish from your heart. Tonight we may rejoice. Because during the service, many of my angels, thousands of them, have been sent to your to the homes to remove any darkness, to break any trap, any error that came to destroy your relationship with your family. So my brethren. Give a shout of glory. Glorify my name because I'm preserving your families in my presence. And my servant 
My daughter, you who came crying tonight, who live with joy because、uh, I poured out upon your head this special anointing to remove any sadness, any anguish, and the problem that you have placed in my presence. It's not yours. You don't have strength. You already told me in prayer. I am your God, and tell you tonight, I take it out of your hand. This problem for me to resolve it because my love has overflown upon your lives. Those of my servants that were not able to be here because of physical infirmity, I sent my angels to send the blessing of cure so that the day may be in the next service. Praising my name for the cure that I have given them during this banquet, this, during this celebration. Rejoice, my children, because many things I have done amongst you.、Uh, few of them will be testified in the following service for the honor and glory of my name. So I say, rejoice, because your God is alive, has operated amongst you, and poured out upon you my blessing, my love, and my peace. I. Love one another and live in fellowship because this flock belongs to me.、Um, Lord, we praise you for your glorious presence amongst us, for your angels walking amongst us, for the renewal that we're finding you. We praise you because your voice is wonderful. Send us home in peace, Lord, towards our homes. Receive your altar, our gratitude, our prayer to you, because we pray. As we give you hand to you everything in the name of Jesus, Amen. The church may be seated. If any of the brethren desire prayer, we're here at your disposal. I wish the peace of the Lord to everyone.